Hey guys, we are back, back in the beautiful Fitzroy River and the plan is to try and see if this trip, I can put together everything that I've put together in my past few trips and see if that giant barramundi from my last video was not so much a fluke but is that something that is achievable for me more than once. So that is what today is all about. I really want to work out, I really want to understand if I've worked something out and I really want to not guess strike while the iron's hot but when you get onto a bit of a rhythm with a technique or a pattern or a type of fishing, I find the, the longer I stick at that type of fishing or the more I devote my time to it and thinking to it, the better I get. So I'm going to devote a bit of time to these barramundi in here because one, they are absolutely insane fish and two, the dam's not firing yet so why not fish for giant saltwater barramundi whenever you can. We would have noticed in my last video, the new Corrado. So I've been tasked to put the new Corrado to the test. So today I have the new Corrado 200 HG and I have a new Loomis IMX Pro. And as you can tell, running the big nine inch soft plastic. So that's today's mission. I'm going to fish moon above and the run out tide pretty windy at the moment hopefully that isn't a problem in my little rig because i am only in the little rig which has been a lot of fun actually on the barramundi and in the salt very unusual but very cool so let's go <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fire out of here, that's so hard. <laughs> Do by yourself. There he goes. He's not even very big. <laughs> nice size one. Deja vu. <laughs> ah. It's 
salties, eh? Fussy. Playful. Yes! Woo! First one! Best hooks in the history of hooks. Look at that. Ninety something. Ninety five. The new combo. <laughs> new Corrado. New Lamas. Oh, that's like it's literally my first or second cast on the Lemus as well. That's incredible. Let it go. 95, salty. Very cool. <laughs> See you, buddy. shaking like a leaf there's no hesitation by that fish that just like I was in the region in the vicinity even and it smacked it Give me a thump. Didn't miss many on those hooks normally. Super sticky still. Good thorn, eh? Bit of a get out of the way bump. in one day. Epic could that be? Saw the boil from that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <sighs> Not the best place to have a drone in the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a 
fish of a lifetime. Shoulders on it. Oh, jeez. Oh, my legs are shaking. It's another one thirty, but just fat. Big animal. Oh my god, it's a big animal. Oh my god, it's a big fish. So big. It's absolutely monstrous. There it is there in the water. <laughs> Pressure cooker drying up in the air. Biggest barrel I've ever hooked by far. <laughs> I've got it! I've got it! It's got me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at that! Doesn't even fit in my net. Little Crado 200, new one. Smoking it. That's a big one. That's a big fish. Legs are shaking. Nine inch Sicario. <laughs> for a... I'm not going to be able to do anything with this. No, no rod. No nothing. Insane. <laughs> Where's zero? That's zero. <laughs> 130. 
seven ish. Look, we're uh, 37 a barra. I can't believe it. Get it back in the water. absolutely ridiculous I can't describe I can't describe how I'm feeling now to chase giant barramundi is one thing but to chase them so close to home is another it's not the Fitzroy is not my home river but it is an hour and a half drive or an hour and something to get into town it is not a long way away and to catch fish like that is is crazy I've never seen barramundi that big in real life to catch one only two days ago and then to beat that PB today is ridiculous. So that fish was over 135 so 137 ish something like that centimeters is insane but but that barramundi was twice as heavy as my 134 from two days ago. It was such a thick heavy set well built fish a cra crazy fish it was insane. So because all my tackle in this video is new and after today this combo is going to be my barramundi combo if if I could stop that fish that I stopped today with this rod and reel then that is me this is going to be my new barra combo I will leave the X pride tranks combo for my cod because I love it like that so much and that way I just run the Corrado and stuff in the salt water and keep my tranks and X-Prides nice and clean. Without further ado, the reel, Corrado, 200 HG. So I prefer high speed reels um, when it comes to live sonar, 100%. So I fish high speed for my cod when I'm fishing live sonar and I definitely like to fish high speed for live sonar for the barramundi. Couple of reasons for that. Firstly, uh, you mess up a cast, you get that bait back to you super quick and you don't waste any time. Secondly, um, even more so with thread fin, they hit you and run straight at you. But big barramundi as well, when you're casting to the shallow side or the lee side of something, they hit you and they run straight at you. So high speed reel, I'm picking up that slack and I don't have any slack line and I'm able to set the hook and keep that hook pinned the whole time. So the 200 HD is a 7 4 to 1, which is um, like... It doesn't feel stupidly quick, so you can slow down and slow roll that plastic, but like I said, when a fish hits you, 
I'm not getting any slack line, and when I mess up that cast, it is back in, and I'm skipping that thing quick. The other advantage, too, of running a HG is I'm running a, a really heavy jig head and a big plastic, and if the fish are near the surface, you really got to have full control of that bait and keep it above those fish. So that's where the HG really stands out. The rod. So I've never really used Loomis as much apart from my cod, as you know. This is the G Loomis IMX Pro. It's the 904C swim bait rod. It's seven foot six and good from half to three ounces and casts these big baits very easily. And I'd say there's no better test than a meter 30 bar of money. That is insane. So I'd say that rod definitely ticks the box. Braid is P3 of the Grappler 8 and which is about 57 pounds, something like that and the leader is 60 pound, it's fluorocarbon. Now down to the business end, that is a nine inch swim bait. That's rigged on a one ounce head with the stinger hook setup, with the Irukandji stinger hook setup, I can't remember what that's called. I replaced those hooks to my Van Fook DT58s because I just, I rarely drop any fish on that, shouldn't say that because I lost one the other day, but they are such a reliable hook for me and if you've seen where that fish was pinned, that's a metre 37 on one of the trebles of a size one treble. So that's testament to the hooks, that was a massive fish, incredible size fish.